Hey everybody, it's Candy, aka Brown Eye Girl 69. Well, after the video I made last night, um, I went to sleep probably about mm, three o'clock in the morning, and uh, I was waking up at about six thirty, coughing, and needing to go to the bathroom. And then I went back to sleep. Mm. I think my daughter first hit me up about 8.30. But my phone was off. And then she continually tried to call me. Probably every 15 to 30 minutes. Mm. I think I finally woke up about 10.15 or so. Called her. And I was over at their house by 11. But they were home by almost 2 o'clock. Oh, well, probably about 1.45. So they were only gone a little less than 3 hours. Um, and I was able to go get my granddaughter. And our neighbor from Head Start. And my daughter's neighbor that was across the way. Um, across the hall. She came over and watched Finny and for the few minutes that I needed to go pick up Cadence. And her name's Deanna. She's really sweet. Um, we used to work with her at Loves. But anyway, so all that got taken care of and my kids got their money and they're back on track. Everything's cool. Came home. My tooth was really bothering me today. I was messing with it. Mess, 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 mess. And then I could finally feel that it was actually moving. Because actually what I did was I took it, my fingers, onto the tooth and just kind of pulled it a little bit. Put a little bit of weight on it. And I could hear it cracking up there a little bit. Breaking loose from the gum. Well, it fell out. So now, I don't have any teeth up there on the top except for one back here and one up there. Two molars. And then a little bitty one right here. It broke off. It never fell out. It just broke off. And then I have what I have left on my bottom. Which eventually they'll all fall out too. But now I'm not in any pain anymore. At least I can like actually. <sighs> breathe you know. And not have any pain in my tooth. The only problem with it is. Because of the fact that the root was so big. And probably because it actually fell out a little sooner than it would have if I would have just naturally let it do its thing. There's still a little bit of a hole in there, but it didn't bleed any. Um, I tasted a little bit of blood, but it wasn't like bleeding like if they yanked it out of the dentist office, you know. So there's a hole up in there a little bit. It'll take it a little bit to probably... You know, heal and fill back up, become more solid. I want to smoke, but I'm sort of afraid to smoke because I've heard that if once you get your tooth pulled, usually under normal circumstances, if you go into a dentist, they pull your tooth out, stuff it with gauze. Basically tell you to rinse out with salt water or whatever. Um, and they usually tell you don't smoke for 24 hours. That way your gum has a little bit of time to, you know, heal up. From the damage that was caused from the tooth being yanked out. Mine... I don't think it has much damage because it's been slowly working its way out and I've been slowly loosening it around the gum area. Usually when a dentist goes in to pull a tooth, it's seated in there pretty good and they have to kind of break it away from the gum area before it's loose enough for them to pull it out. But 
But, yeah. Anyway, that's what's been going on with me today. But because I've learned about smoking. Like, back in the day, if I had a tooth pulled out by the dentist, I was a cigarette smoker. Um, I usually would just stuff the gauze in there to cover up the hole. And usually, I would suck from the other side, so the opposite side of where the tooth had been pulled. Just like you see me do there, I kind of put it on this side of my mouth versus over here or in the middle. But anyways, um, I just wanted to give you all an update as far as, you know, things are going great with my daughter. Everything's cool. I I think um, I was just overthinking things, you know. Um, that's my problem. Sometimes I overthink things. But hey... Um, I hope y'all have a most blessed, wonderful day, afternoon, evening, wherever you are, and, uh, if you really want to chit-chat with me, I put my credentials in my last video, hit me up, um, if any of y'all's on Facebook, hit me up. My last name's Anderson. My first name is Candy with a K. K A N D I. Anderson. Um, I don't have my face as far as my profile picture. It's not in my face. It's not in my actual face. It's a picture of um a human face, a human head that's looking. And they're doing like a peace sign. And it looks like a sunflower, basically. Looks like a sunflower. Also kind of looks like an eclipse, sort of. And it has a peace symbol. But you'll know you found me because my name says Candy Anderson. And then in parentheses it says Brown Eyed Girl. Uh, on Facebook they won't let me put the Brown Eyed Girl 69 on there. But they do let me have Brown Eyed Girl. So people know they've gotten a hold of the right person. Anybody wants to hit me up on Facebook, hey, I'm more than willing to, you know, befriend you on another social media platform. And if you'd like to talk to me on that social media platform, I have a messenger. If you want to hit me up on email, it's bluemusichome at yahoo.com. And that's about all i got to say for now. Um, I think I'm going to read some of that book, though, uh, because it was due back August, or October 2nd is the day it was due. But, um, they let me check it out, and I don't have to turn it back in until the 23rd, so, of October. So, I need to get on reading the rest of those, uh, chapters for y'all. Get that put in my playlist. So, I have my first book, Mr. Wolf and Me, on a playlist. Um... Till the meantime, much love, peace, love, hugs, nugs, smoke it if you got it, always. Yeah, I didn't get to wake and bake this morning, so that felt good. It feels good to be able to just relax. And not have any more of that energy right there in my mouth. I'm like, ah, oh, I'm so grateful it's gone. Yay! I know it's kind of strange to hear people, or to hear a person say that they're glad that their tooth has gone out of their mouth. But when you realize how much pain that a person, that you can actually be in, having a tooth that's still in your head, but it's not really usable, but it's loose, it hurts. It's not anything pleasant, you know. It's consistently in pain throughout the day sometimes. So that's why I'm grateful that it fell out or I finally was able to get it out because now I don't have to worry about that pain anymore. 
until the next one starts getting loose and getting ready to fall out. And it'll probably be one of these down here. Like I said, I'm working on getting insurance, so hopefully I'll be able to get some permanent parcels put in or, you know, eventually get dentures. I don't really want to deal with dentures, but I don't really have the funds to get me the implants that I'd really like to get either. And I don't even know if my bone structure is strong enough to handle implants. But we'll see what the dentist says when I get my insurance all set up and I go take care of that. I know I already said peace, love, hugs, and nugs and all that. But, hey, we're going to do another peace, love, hugs, and nugs. Until the next time.